going on, everybody? Eric Lindquist at Stochastic here on the Odd Chopper channel coming to you with another edition of Lindy's Lings, Likes, and Locks NBA. Hit that like button, subscribe button, notification bell goes a long way for me on this video, goes a long way for you. That way you become a prize whenever great content is going live here at our little neck of the YouTube woods. I went in to grab lunch today and my wife said, you look tired. You, you look exhausted. Maybe because 15 MLB games and 14 NBA games is a lot to manage, honey. How about that? Anyway, but I said in a loving, nice, respectful way, because that is who I am. Just like you're loving, nice, fun, respectful down in the comment section below, right? Anywho, we had a bunch of weird stuff, tons of injury news, ends up having LeBron rule. Well, no, you had Anthony Davis ruled out, even though it looked like LeBron, who was sick, didn't go through shoot around, ends up in. Up is down, left is right. I'm not sure exactly what's going on here with some of these teams, but we have found some pretty damn good value. Again, the Kispert play got pulled off the board very, very early after recording yesterday because Kyle Kuzma was downgraded to questionable. He ends up not playing, ends up being just a whole thing. Oh, boy, friends. But you know what? We can look ahead. We can look ahead. We still have an opportunity to make some money the rest of this NBA season, and I've broken down all eight games for you, found ourselves some plays that I think I, I feel pretty good about this card actually going into tomorrow. Eight games is enough to manage on top of MLB. So if you're checking out MLB Lindy's as well, this should be a good complimentary piece having everything in the afternoon there because the last baseball game is 8 p.m. Eastern time. We can really focus in on NBA and react to some of the news and do a good job of that in Discord. We also have an amazing deal going on, promo code MASTERS. You can utilize that down below. It is MASTERS week after all. Uh, could you tell? Could you tell? There you go. Anywho, friends, producer Jacob. Yeah. Yeah, I'm fancy. What do you want me to do, okay? Ooh, cheap cheese sandwiches. We get it. No phones. Uh, I hate the pimento cheese sandwich for what it's worth. I hope everybody could hear your blasphemy just now. Well, actually, no, you're correct about pimento cheese. It's terrible. Anyway, producer Jacob. Jerk. Let's get to the fix. Our first game of the night, Memphis, and I have no idea who's going to be playing basketball for Memphis here on this backpack. Somebody has to. Somebody has got to play basketball for them in this spot that's like required by law or NBA, which is the law at certain points. Anywho, friends, we are paying attention to that news because Scottie Pippen Jr., Jordan Goodwin, they played some really good basketball actually on this Tuesday night uh, evening festivities. Actually, let me double check in and see what that final score ended up being because I ended up getting stuck in the MLB streets and whole friends. It can be a long, treacherous little night. Uh, doing that, that's for sure. Clippers are up 19-2 on Phoenix. Let's go. Let's go, birds. That makes me so happy. You know, the real ones know what I'm talking about for that. Please, please continue on the merry way with that. But anyway, Memphis, friends, they took on San Antonio. San Antonio ends up winning by 15, but oh, uh, shout out everybody, especially Anthony Edwards, 50 spot tonight. Feels good. Anyway, back to this one. There's nothing to talk about. I, I Do you want to know who's on Memphis? Do you want to know who's on Memphis? You can't handle who's on Memphis. It is unbelievable. Trey Jamison, Jordan Goodwin, Scottie Pippen, Gigi Jackson, and then Timmy Allen. I think those are your for sure guys. But Jake LaRavia, questionable. Lamar Stevens, questionable. Santi Aldama, questionable. John Conchar, questionable. Luke Kennard, questionable. All going to be questionable entering this one. I bet half of them play, maybe. Maybe they don't. There's nothing to break down. All I know is Donovan Mitchell is back, and they got to they gotta get going. Uh, hop on down, get down with your bad self. Sam Merrill's doubtful in this one. Dean Wade continues to be out for a couple of games. Did you know he's actually leading the league in defensive rating now? That's the dumbest thing I've ever seen. Saw that today. Why? How? What? Huh? But Cleveland without him, it doesn't matter. It's Dean Wade. Uh, infinity. Cleveland by infinity and beyond. I think 16 and a half is actually going to end up making the card. It just hadn't officially dropped the time for me. And then I didn't have time to bet it because I was an MLB. And now I'm making excuses for myself. Uh, bet this one. Cleveland 16 and a half. Useful. It's going to close. Can it get much higher? Finding a little bit of a second win as we talk about Charlotte and Atlanta. Maybe it's just that I'm so happy to be talking with my friends here. Aw. Friends. Some of you fucking hate me. It's okay. Anyway, Jalen Johnson ends up leaving the game questionable with an ankle injury for tomorrow. So I doubt, I doubt considering Atlanta's like locked into this spot. We'll, we'll pay attention to what happens here with this Bulls game. Uh, what ended up happening? Is that game over here at this point in time? Maybe it just went 
final. Because Miami won in double overtime against Atlanta. That was a thing that happened in Atlanta. Obviously had the, the injury that existed there with Jalen Johnson. That is problematic for them entering this one. But yeah, Chicago Bulls, we are going to be paying very close attention. Did you know how hard it is to find stuff when there's 48 basketball games going on? Good Lord Almighty. Knicks won. So Knicks got that, that W for us. That's good. But anywho, friends, I'm looking at tomorrow. There's only one thing, one thing only that we are looking at. Shane Langelier's another home run. What are you doing, bro? But 12 and a half. 12 and a half? I can almost get down with this here with Jalen Johnson, mainly because, mainly because you just had Atlanta lose here. I think this probably tips the scales towards it being like a virtual certainty that Atlanta is the 10 seed. So now you got to start prioritizing health, especially on a back-to-back, -back, especially if the ankle injury for Jalen Johnson ends up actually being something. I think that makes it an opportunity for Charlotte, who's just playing their young players and Brandon Miller and Miles Bridges infinity minutes for whatever reason. I think this is a spot even for them, even for them on this back to back that you want to be firing them up. I think there's an opportunity to get a little bit of goodness, to get a little bit of something out of this one. I think you want to do it. I think you want to do it. But Brandon Miller is what I really want to do here. That's phrasing, Eric. 25 plus points I'm looking at for him as well to come along for the ride. I don't know who ends up playing on this back-to-back -back for Charlotte, but there is a possibility, an ever so slight chance possibility, that they rest on Miles Bridges or Grant Williams. I'm not saying it's high. It seems like they want to keep this core together and just play Misich and Miller and Williams and Bridges a lot together, hopefully, and Trey Mann and try to get everybody to get along. Davis Bertans off the bench. Pokashevsky now playing 20 minutes there. Would have been fun to see him and Chet doing like the Spider-Man gif on the floor together in Oklahoma City. Uh, Toronto and Brooklyn. Brooklyn. Didn't play basketball today. Javon Liberty Biberty. He indeed did get the start, so felt pretty good about that call from the corner. That felt useful. That felt fun for the people who care about such things. Nobody? Cool. But Emmanuel quickly, he rested the front end of the back-to-back. -back. I think he ends up playing there. Grady Dick, Jordan Awara, DJ Carton. DJ Carton. Doesn't matter if he plays or not. But Javon Freeman, Liberty Biberty. Be paying attention. He got hot in that first quarter I was watching. We'll go back and take a look at some of the box score stuff from that one later. But Cam Johnson off the injury report. Nicholas Claxton off the injury report. But we're getting towards the end of the season. They're going to Cabo on Sunday. Cabo Wabo. Let's go. They're going to start playing Jalen Wilson more. They're going to start playing Noah Clowney more, Trenton Watford, even Lonnie Walker. Lonnie Walker, this is your life. That's another Ben Fold song. Dayron Sharp, do 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 do. Probably sent to the Shadow Realm, never to be seen or heard from again. Ah, Toronto money line simply because quickly is that dude, and we could be getting like four to one on a game that truly doesn't matter. I think that's kind of an underrated part of betting this time of year is looking at these massive, massive dogs. And so for me. That's something I'm very interested in. I think you could be getting some closing line value on the other side of this one. Again, Brooklyn, what do they have to play for? Same thing as Toronto. Absolute nothing. Say it again. So give me four to one on that. Get that thing to plus 400. We can talk. We can also talk about the Masters. I'm going to be doing that over on Playback. TV tomorrow talking a little bit of masters goodness with my friend jesse uh downside of me over on x that is for sure but we're going to be breaking down the masters for hours and hours on wednesday night because it's like the best week of the entire year i'm a golfer could you tell did you see my clubs in the background just want to scream golfer at you but you know what i'm also a gambler i'm also better i'm also somebody who loves sports all the way around and it's not just golf that you'll be getting there but you'll be getting the nba the mlb every betting card in that premium discord for one week just by trying out OS Premium. And then the Holy Grail, the positive EV tool, the parlay builder. You want to build better parlays? We can help you with that, friends. First week of OS Premium, Code Masters. Sign up today. Ugh, really? Dallas, Miami, here in this one? Got to break down at least some of the playoff probabilities because these are two teams that obviously have things that they need to get solidified. But Dallas is pretty locked in now to not being in the play-in tournament. That had to feel good. They just... John just screwing around with Charlotte today. It was funny to watch. But 94.3% to get that five seed. A little bit different here for Miami. Miami is trying to trudge themselves out of the playing tournament. It's going to be hard. Less than a 15% chance of getting the five or six seed. But 31.3% to get the seven, 48 to get the eight. That was a big win for them tonight. They're going to continue to play straight up. And I couldn't think of a bit for the Teddy KGB thing. So it just died. Died a miserable, miserable death. Just like Miami probably will here if they just double overtime. Jimmy Butler doesn't play on these back-to-backs more than likely. We'll see. 
I want to see the number early here. I do think Dallas just wants to get this done with and then rest Luca. Like, give me the five seed. Let us know we're not going to be doing the just get it over with and get out of there. Rest him for two days. Him and Kyrie have them sit. Have a go cheer on everybody else. That that that's probably what they're looking at doing. And then you can go party in South Beach the night of. But lean like I'm going to call it a lean like purely because I don't know what this ends up opening at. I think Dallas will be ever so slightly favored. I do think that with some of the news that we got on the Miami side of things, Terry Rozier ends up getting scratched with the next spasms. Josh Richardson out for the season, and now Duncan Robinson out with no timetable for return. Dallas should be the favorite side of this one, but if they're not, obviously jam. But like, I'm going to be paying very close attention to this line. So uh, one at, on your radar a little bit more. Dallas money line probably going to be a play for me. Anything up to minus 165. What am I even looking at? That's wild. Baby, I'm Jalen Suggs. I don't know. What is what? Baby, I'm Jalen Suggs. Ha, ha. Ah, Jalen Suggs. Wanted to do that one more time before the end of the season. But Orlando, Milwaukee, they started Gary Harris today next to Mr. Jalen Suggs. The big news, obviously, Franz Wagner ends up getting ruled out of that one. Does he play on the back-to-back? -back? We shall see. We, all sh we shall see. But the big thing, friends, Solius Strain for Giannis Antetokounmpo. Line got ripped off of this one as quick as humanly possible. Actually, barely even got introduced. So, saw it for like two seconds, and it's going to come back just not even worth talking about but orlando one of the best against the spread teams i can remember in an nba season just an absolute print factory probably should have been there a little bit more than what i was if we're being honest i think i played should have five times four times all season long in terms of just an outright it's pretty wild i went two and three <laughs> i'm their mush <laughs> it's funny uh milwaukee friends uh no Giannis. this is going to be a wild one we're going to Pay attention to some props at early and open here. But Jalen Suggs getting in that starting rotation. And then if we see some numbers at open, because I'm assuming we get the Orlando props before anything on the Milwaukee side. But maybe that's not true because we know Giannis is going to be out. I think we got to be very, very cautious and, and probably firing up some Jalen Suggs. But 15 plus points for him. I think that's a decent enough spot. No Franz Wagner. See the uh, usage going and up, up, up. And the minutes are coming with it. Uh just wanted to double check on what they had to play for because I thought I had it written. Lots of range of outcomes for Orlando. Orlando actually has the second best chance to get the, the two seed behind Milwaukee, but they're still a distant, distant second in that regard. 20.5% to get the three seed, 20.1% to get the four seed. Orlando has lots and lots to play for. So Jalen Suggs, I assume more minutes here for him without Franz Wagner if he ends up being out. But pay attention to that news. Just going to put it as a lean for now, but uh, somebody that I'm kind of interested in backing, especially if you're going to have somebody like Gary Harris and absolutely nothing offensively out on the floor. With this isn't a nothing, friends. BetMGM, first bet safety net up to $1,500. If you are looking to add another sports book to the portfolio before the NBA playoffs, this is the one for you. Again, you probably have DraftKings. You probably have FanDuel. You probably have Caesars or Bet365. If you don't, you should be getting access to all of those. But BetMGM, $1,500 back in your pocket in bonus bets if your first bet loses that's a great insurance policy to have in this kind of a spot so take advantage of it my friends really great opportunity to be invested early and often right now only for 21 and over if you have a gambling problem please call 1-800-GAMBLER back to the picks we go san antonio back to back Watch the Wemby thing. Watch the Wemby thing. They end up going out and winning against Memphis, as they should, as they should. Now taking on Oklahoma City. And Oklahoma City has damn things to play for. They are still sitting there, outside looking in here on the two seed. It's, it's pretty two. It's a two-team race there. Minnesota kind of put themselves in the driver's seat after the W here tonight. We shall see. Again, they've got that Phoenix matchup that I'm going to Really hope they still have something to play for because the under 48 and a half wins looks especially good if we can get this Clippers uh, upset. This would be a very nice upset. It's 35 to 5. It's 35 to 5? <laughs> Daddy needs a new bicycle. Let's go. Oh, my goodness gracious. Oh, I'm in a good mood now. I've kind of been in a good mood all night, if we're being honest. Paul George just doing Paul George things. This is the worst. What am I looking at? Clippers are 98% to win this basketball game, and it is a minute left in the first quarter. I've never seen I've never seen that from like a road team that was a dog 
in the first quarter, 97%, 98%. Bones Highland out there just getting down with his bad self. That's wild to watch. Anyway, I should probably break this one down, huh? How about we run back Malachi Branham, two and a half assists? That's something to pay attention to. Again, I had a lot of bets from the Positive EV tool. A lot of bets out there on the old cards here today. I want to double check here what we had in terms of potential assists from him. I want to make sure everything looks as it is in its own right place. Oh, yeah, of course he lost by the hook for that. So thanks for that. 28 minutes of Malachi Branham there. They did play 21 minutes for Devontae Graham. Glad I made this a lean because this is probably not going to be on the card here at this point in time What, with what I'm looking at. 28 minutes. I was playing like mid. He should have been playing 34, 35. I feel like that's a minutes thing. Obviously, they played Memphis. They were up a lot. They had a 29-12 third quarter. So those all get factored in. I'm going to take a look at that one again for tomorrow. Oh, yeah. To the main event of the evening, my friends. The Minnesota Timberwolves. My Minnesota Timberwolves. Nas Reed was a bad boy. Gets flagrant too. Bye-bye. Hit the road, Jack. I don't think he's going to get suspended for it for whatever it's worth. But Denver. Denver. This is a big game. Both teams on a back-to-back -back in Denver. And Anthony Edwards coming off a 50 spot against Washington. Again, it's Washington. That's nothing. Not like Denver's playing anybody of substance either. But they're only up six on the road in Utah. Now heading back home. They're going home. To the place where they belong. But anyway, Nikola Jokic is the guy that you have to be paying very close attention to. I don't have a lock on the card, but I do have a lean-like lock. Because plus 140, I ended up dabbling in the Nikola Jokic streets today. Hopefully you enjoyed that one. But in a must-win basketball game, he has 20-11-7 and seven here with uh, an entire quarter to go. So that's useful. Get those assists. Let's go, boys. Come on. Get it done. Get it done. Omer Yurt7 having himself a night, that's for sure. But uh, looking at Minnesota on the other side, uh, pay attention to news. Carl Anthony Towns, I don't think we'll be playing here for a little while. Sounds like he's a game away from getting back, but it'd be cool to just randomly get the news that he was going to play like 24, 26 minutes tonight. That would be epic for me as a fan. That would be epic. But clear for basketball activities last week has been doing them is what it sounds like. And I don't know. Ramp them up on the backpack. Let's go. I want to start seeing my boys play some basketball together here, but uh, this is definitely going to be a joker pass. Like, in a must-win game here for Denver, if they want to have any chance at this number one seed, Joker is going to be here to play basketball. It's going to be a fun watch. I can't wait for it. Minnesota plus five and a half might be like a hard bet, but don't, don't do that. Don't bet teams because you like them. That's a terrible way to do it. Generally, I bet against my teams because, well, Minnesota Vikings suck. And the Phoenix Suns taking on the Clippers for round two, which again, uh, 37, 10. I might have to get a live bet here just to like get something on the, because if the Suns come back and win this game and then they have to go into LA and I'm going to have to, oh, uh, don't even want to talk about those hypotheticals. They're sick, but Kawhi Leonard, can you play basketball here in this spot? That would be very useful to me. Again, 48 and a half wins. We have that under. We jammed it. I've brought it up a million times on this program. You're probably sick of hearing about it. Guess what? I don't care. Russell Westbrook starts tonight. Yes, you heard me. Started tonight. Wild run out there from them. Uh, obviously got down with his bad self. Uh, six, five, and four already there at the end of the first quarter. Nice little start for him. Two fouls already for whatever it's worth, but nobody really cares about that really really don't care about that anyway i definitely 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 am looking at the phoenix money line here if anything uh purely because you have nurkic ruled out i think he ends up playing here on the back-to-back -back. and phoenix they do have this um uh, spot where they've got to get themselves moving along friends they gotta, they gotta go seven seed is very live for them 30.6 percent seven seed 34.1 percent but that is with a game in peril as it's spoke uh, spoken right now that's going to move the other direction with a loss. So uh, if they want to get out of this playing tournament, which is obviously a huge advantage to do so, you want to win a damn basketball game here. And against the Clippers, potentially with no Kawhi, potentially coming off of a beatdown, this is a spot where I think you might be buying low on Phoenix. If uh, well, I doubt they'll be dogs maybe after this. And that does it for another edition of Lindy's Leans, Likes, and Locks. You know what to do. Go to that comment section below. Let me know your favorite plays that exist on the board for this insane little slate that we have before us. Uh, hit the like button. That goes a long way for me. Again, eight games. Going to be a little bit more manageable. MLB will be in the morning, afternoon, and then we'll have some basketball at night. College basketball is done with. Don't have to be thinking about that anymore. The uh, 
yeah, we'll be thinking about the NBA draft. Probably get some coin down on that one for sure. Thank you, producer Jacob. Good times as always. Until next time, friends, I'm Eric Lindquist. Best of luck in the NBA streets on Wednesday.